In this video, we're going to focus on multiplying fractions and whole numbers together. So in the first example, we have 2 thirds times 9. What you want to do is you want to rewrite the 9 as a fraction. So you want to put over 1 and then you can multiply across. So 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 1 is 3. And then 18 divided by 3 is 6. So that's all we need to do for the first example. For the second example, 15 times 4 fifths, we can write this as 15 over 1, and then multiply across. 15 times 4 is 60, 1 times 5 is 5, 60 divided by 5 is 12. Let's do the same for the third example. Let's put 7 over 1 and multiply across. 7 times 2 is 14, 1 times 3 is 3. So the answer as an improper fraction is 14 over 3. If you want to convert this to a mixed number, we could break down 14 over 3 into 12 over 3 plus 2 over 3. 12 plus 2 is 14. Now, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so we have 4 plus 2 thirds, which is 4 and 2 thirds. By the way, for those of you who want more examples on how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, just type in, in the YouTube search bar improper fraction to mixed number organic chemistry tutor and my videos just show up. Now what about 8 times 4 fifths? So let's put 8 over 1 and let's multiply across. 8 times 4 is 32, 1 times 5 is 5. So the answer as an improper fraction is 32 over 5. Now if you wanted to convert that to a mixed number, how many times does 5 go into 32? 5 go into 32 6 times. 5 times 6 is 30, and if you subtract 32 by 30, you get 2. So as a mixed number, is 6 and 2 fifths. Another way you could do that is you could break up 32 into 30 plus 2. 30 is the highest multiple of 5, just under 32. That's why I picked that number. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 6 plus 2 fifths is the same as... 6 and 2 fifths. So that's another way in which you can convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. But now you know how to multiply whole numbers and fractions together.